Vineyard, happy Wednesday. Happy first Wednesday of the new year. I hope this week started out well for you. I'm excited to get into 2023 to get rolling here. We got a handful of events coming up over the next month or so to let you know about. First, this Sunday, Coffee and Christ, our adult Sunday school, will resume after the holiday break. Coffee and Christ meets at 9 a.m. in the prayer room, and this is a pre-service Bible study that's led by Pastor Brad Hudson. Um, also led by Brad, our OG ministry will have their monthly potluck right after church on Sunday. Uh, so if you are west of 60 years old, plan to hang out after church uh, for lunch downstairs. Two other events happening this month to put on your calendar. Next week on the 15th, a week from Sunday, January 15th, right after church, there's going to be a quick interest meeting for anyone that would like to be a part of our summer vacation Bible school. This will be in the cafe right after church, in the prayer room right after church um, uh, on the 15th. This is one of the coolest things that we do, uh, Vacation Bible School. Uh, and also, there is a spot for everyone on the VBS team. Some of those spots are working with kids. Some are not working with kids. Some are helping out with admin, with prep, uh, setup, with communications. This team has a lot of fun, and they do some amazing work. So check that out as we start pining for the summertime. June, uh, January 15th, right after church, uh, Vacation Bible School interest meeting. Uh, then on the 22nd, on January 22nd, We've got our combined welcome home reception and family meeting. It's going to follow service and also follow lunch. Right after we worship together, we're going to head downstairs for lunch. And then we're going to come back up to the sanctuary after lunch. We're going to kick off our dual meeting that will introduce newer folks to the Vineyard family, but also be our annual financial facilities and vision report. Uh, so if you are Vineyard family or if you're thinking of leaning in that direction, this meeting is one that's going to let you uh, kind of get read into who we are, what we believe, but also how we demonstrate what we believe by using the resources that God provides. So a lot is going on in January. And also this, this coming Sunday, we will kick off signups for winter small groups and winter small groups that will start in February. The group list and the signups will be starting this Sunday. So come prepared to make your choice for how you're going to spend the winter. And get ready to, to get after some Jesus learning and whatever else we have as small groups. Uh, that all will start this coming Sunday. With all of our updates done, it is time to start our Holy Week sermon series. And we're starting a little, just a little bit early this year. Uh, the Holy Week, that week that, that begins with Palm Sunday, continues through Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, and ends with Resurrection Day. Um, this year begins on April 2nd. So we figured we better get busy, better get after this. We're going to be taking a, a journey um, from now through then, uh, through the book of John, as we prepare for these celebrations. Now, it's not going to be like previous teachings. We're not going to go line by line or verse by verse. We're going to get pretty close. Instead, we're going to take a theme that flows from our Advent series and trace it all the way through the Gospel of John from in the beginning to the, char the charcoal fire after the resurrection of our Savior. And that theme is glory. Now, I love the Gospel of John because the author, one of the disciples that was closest to Jesus, wrote a narrative that speaks to everyone in every culture in every time. A new believer could pick up John and go, I mean, without any previous context, understand what is going on in the same way that a seasoned follower of Jesus can go through the same book and find applicable truth, correction, and encouragement. As we move through the book, on these Wednesday, uh, the uh, whatever these are, these videos, I will offer some some assignments, some devotionals that'll kind of fill in the gaps um, that we leave on, uh, from the teachings on Sunday. So also, though, I'd encourage you to be in the Book of John in your own readings as we go through this together. If you don't have a Bible, I would love to get you one. So please let me know. You can send a, an email to info at billingsvineyard.org or just grab me on Sunday, and we will get you lined out with the Bible. One of the coolest things we get to do is give people their first Bible. So if that's you, let me know. Uh, for this week, I've got a reading and also a prompt for prayer and reflection for you. The reading is this. First, Genesis 1, the first chapter in the first book of, of the Bible, and then 2 Samuel 22. Genesis 1 and 2 Samuel 22. And here's why. We see in John chapter 1, what we're going to see this coming Sunday, is beautiful reflections of Genesis 1 which leads us to an entry argument that creation was not an accident. 
It was intentional, and by extension, that means that you are not an accident, that you were intentional. Hold that for a second, because then we get into 2 Samuel 22. This is, is the praise, this is one of the praises that David gives God. It's an awesome reflection of the character of God, the felt character of God, the weighty presence that we are going to know as we unpack this series as glory. Uh, but we see here is how much David was loved by God and how God's plans for creation included his created son, David. From this, uh, reflect on your own creation, the intentionality of you and the love that God has for you. Be honest with this reflection as you kind of think and pray about this. If you don't feel that love, if you don't feel that intentionality, be honest about that and take that up in prayer. If you're on the other side, if you feel overwhelmingly loved, then that's a great starting place for, for prayers of, of praise to God as well. But our point here, what we're, what we're attempting to do with this exercise is to identify our starting point as we begin the book of John, as we begin this gospel narrative of the ministry of Jesus. So also, as you do this, if you choose to do, do this exercise, please shoot me an email and, and let me know how you experienced it, what went on, what, what are you thinking? I would love to have this become the foundation of a conversation as we begin the journey through John together. So Vineyard, the Holy Week party starts now, so let's get crazy. Please pray for me, know that I'm praying for you, and I will see you on Sunday.